Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Davo from Arkham Esports bringing you a StarCraft 2 1v1 cast today. This time on Daybreak Ladder Edition. Awesome, this time we have Lexor versus Dynamite. In the bottom left hand corner we have our blue Protoss who is known as Lexor. I have just introduced him, but hey I'm going to do it formally because I'm a formal kind of guy today. Oh yeah. And then Dynamite in the top right corner. Just chilling. Having a nice time. Excellent. And I will just find out what level these guys are. I think they are platinum. Hang on. Hang on. This is among the information I should have found out when I started. Wow, am I terrible? I need to take out a leaf out of other people's books. Do, 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 do. Yes, they are platinum. Uh, look at that. Memory. Amazing. I love that. That is my favorite thing ever. Mm. So, PvP. I, well, I and many others dislike this matchup quite a bit, and it is not very often matchups like these will go long. Um, and I'll tell you the reason I dislike this matchup because it's a very cheesy matchup. See here, Dynamite is scouting around his base for anything that Lexor may or may not have done. Proxy pylons, cannon rushes, whatever. Proxy buildings, whatever, that's fine. Simply, simply put it, because Protoss cheese a lot versus other Protoss. It happens. More often than not, it can end up as a Colossus rush, like a rush to Colossus. God, I hate that. That is just the worst. Yeah. PvP, man. It's not my fave. It is not my fave. ZVZ, on the other hand. That is one exciting matchup. God damn it, I love that. Here we go. We do have the Cybernetics called Chopping Place down for Dynamite. Which is correct. And Lexor's cybernetics core is actually a little bit behind. Um, you should aim to be getting it like a couple of seconds before the three minute mark. Usually in games, that's when I aim to get mine. Usually when I when I play. <laughs> but there you go. That's fine. So uh, Lexor is slightly behind on the cybernetics core building at the moment. And at Platinum League level, that is the kind of thing that maybe might matter. Maybe. It's it's getting to the point where that kind of thing matters from there on out. Dynamite has started his warp gate research. Lexor, on the other hand, has got his second gas, so it does look like maybe he's gonna be going for a teching option, like um a robotics facility. Uh so that might be pretty interesting. Um you know, we might see Colossus coming out or something like that. Yeah, there is the robotics facility. Called it. Boom! Headshot. But when a Protoss gets his gas early like that, that is what you should expect. <laughs> so I shouldn't be so impressed myself. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like this probe is going to be able to get out of Lexor's base alive. It is going to be running for its life, but I think it is too little too late. The probe did not fill up on uh, protein shakes before it went. And there is actually even nothing left of it anymore. Poor Ickle Proby. Meanwhile, Stalkers are being chrono boosted out right now. And aren't we going to see Lexor have a bit of a push skis with the Stalkers? Um, because a nice thing that Protoss uh, do like to do, especially against other Protoss, is do this kind of three minute, three minute, and three Stalker push. Where they will literally go and poke with three Stalkers. It's less of a push and more of a poke. Um, just to see what their opponent is up to and you know if it catches them off guard it can actually spiral into a win for you if you do it correctly um, <clears throat> i.e. if I was playing a Protoss who was heavily teching let's say rushing to Dark Templars um, he might not have as many stalkers as me and then I can just take advantage of that you know oh dynamite trying to micro away his stalker but now it doesn't actually look like this is like a micro battle. Insanity. Oh no, Lexor losing a stalker right there as well. And it does like Dynamite has come out ahead slightly in that battle. But it was a fairly small engagement, so it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. 
Legsor taking his expansion, which is an option that you don't often see in PvP either at the moment, which is interesting, and I want to see where it goes. Meanwhile, we have the sneaky unit on the way from Dynomite. We have the humble observer who is going to be seeing what is going on in the base of Lexor. So what is going on in the base of Lexor, humble observer? Let's see. Okay, gateway, cybernetics core, two sentries, a stalker on the ramp. Oh, an expo! Ooh, interesting stuff. And we already have an expo on the way for Dynamite. So both players fulfilling the quota of things they should be doing at the moment. But I just want to see where this goes. I'm really interested, actually. Because I'm a bit of an old fuddy-duddy when it comes to Protoss. I haven't looked up a Protoss build in quite a while. So maybe I'm quite outdated in what I think is going on here. If so, it could be pretty damn explosive. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, there we go. We're all good. Oh, what's that? Bam, Robotics Bay. I always get Robotics Bay and Facility mixed up. Just in case any of you are wondering. Well, went, oh, what's that? I get them mixed up very regularly. I mean, one's called a robotics facility, one's called a robotics bay. Why can't they just call it like a robo bay and a robotics facility? I'd remember that. But no, this faintly dyslexic man, he knows no bounds. Who literally plays StarCraft a lot, cast StarCraft a lot. I mean, hell, I've got like a hundred and... I think after today it'll be 140 StarCraft casts, and I don't... I can't remember the difference between that. God, I need to go to a brain surgeon or something. That's terrible. Oh, that observer just getting away with 30 HP remaining. Thank God, he must be happy. He must be happy. But is Dynamite going to move out? Nope, not just yet. Both players getting their income sorted out first things first. Absolutely agree with that at all costs. But one thing I do really like to see is ingenuity, and we do have that right now with two immortals loaded into a warp prism, also known as an immortal drop. Something that I have seen before, something that is very, very successful because immortals obviously have a lot of uh, armor. But just think, well, a lot of armor. They've got, they do a lot of damage, and they've got, of course, they've got that hardened shield as well. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, there's another warp prism on the way to Lexor's base with Zealots in. We might have to do some dual screening action right here, or maybe not, seeing as the warp prism right here from Lexor could almost get taken out. Is he just going to go to the main? Is he going to go to the main? That is the question. If he is going to go to the main, he could die pretty quickly. And it does look like maybe Lexor is just going to have to give up with his warp prism harassment for the moment. Meanwhile, stalkers down here in Lex's base are actually just going to see off the warp prism from Dynamite. And so far, dual screen shenanigans have been aborted, which is something I can do. I can, you know, if you haven't seen many of my games, you will see me do it occasionally. And that's pretty cool. It's almost a feature. And here we go, we do have the drop coming in. No, we don't. No. Oh, is it going to go in? Oh, God, that warp prism is hooning it. He must have the warp prism speed. He must do. That make perfect sense. Double robotics facility down here. And, of course, we have got Colossus on the way. And right in the corner here of the map, we have warp prism. Oh, okay, and the mortals have been dropped. The immortals are going to be destroying the stalkers easily. Meanwhile, Zealous warping in. Zealous being easily the best counter to immortals like that. And this warp prism is going to want to be careful from here on out. Otherwise, he isn't going to be dropping anyone else, if you can call that... If you can call that a collection of random-looking bits of metal a he. It won't be dropping anyone else. Anytime soon. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Oh, and War Prison popping in here, and it will be dropping the Immortals right now, but 
Nothing that can shoot air in particular there, and just sniping some probes. Lexor doing pretty well right there. Let's see. Uh, two workers killed, so not not a fantastic amount, but not a small amount by any means. Meanwhile, both armies are looking fairly distinctly large. The probe count is about even. In fact, it was bang on until those immortals killed two probes, which is pretty interesting. Um... More Colossus on the way. Important to note that Lexor is only single producing Colossus, while Dynamite is double producing Colossus. There is an argument that I've heard that you should get lots and lots of Zealots to avoid being outmatched in the Colossus um, in the Colossus army, and I've got to say Dynamite definitely has more Zealots than Lexor has at the moment. So that is something that is worth thinking about. Yay! Mm. And here we go, the War Prism coming in from the left. Uh, is he going to drop in there? That's probably not the best idea to drop in there. These Zealots are going to chop up these Immortals pretty quickly. And this zealot, this Immortal is going to have to get away. Some damage sustained by said Immortal right there. Don't know if it was completely worth it. Zealots being morphed in there. Morped in? Warped in there by Lex. Or just turn the letter upside down, Dave, and you've got the correct letter. Yep, so that's being warped in there. Good freaking time. Yeah. Sweet. Excellent. And probes being transferred to the third base of Lexor. Which has only just come up. As well, it's important to note that uh, Dino might doesn't actually have a third base just yet, so he is actually vastly outmatched in his income. He is also going for the Templar Archives, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. It does look like he's going to be going largely Archons from the Templar Archives. And I'm sure that we're going to see another High Templar going down almost, almost instantly. And there are still these guys just kind of stuck, waiting to be deployed onto the battlefield. I mean, actually... They might be able to run in here and snipe this robotics facility, which would stay, you know, cause a major, major problem for Lexor, but I'm not actually sure that they're going to be able to do that, uh, you know, DPS versus how fast Lexor's army can get there. But Dynamite's army at the moment is actually quite out of position, I think, personally. And here we go. Here come the Immortals again. Yeah, Immortal drop. These Zealots are going to die. Zealots are very, very good against Immortals, but only, only when they are outnumbered. And here we go. Wee! Immortals going home now. No problem there. Dynamite happily just taking his third expansion. Oh, and also getting Psystorm as well. Good times. Um, Psystorm not actually as effective against other Protoss uh, as it is against quite a lot of other races. But that's fine, because, I mean, Stalkers are armor mechanical. They're not biological in any way, so, you know, uh, Psystorm, I think, has a bonus against biological, I think. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this, this Warp Prism is just going to be sitting here with the Immortals on board, ready to, ready to go at a moment's notice. Mm, and three plus weapons and armor on the way for Lexor right now. And that is very important to know, seeing as his opponent, Dynamite, basically has no upgrades at all. So Lexor massively far ahead in how advanced his weapons and armor are. And that could ultimately win him the game, because obviously they are so dang important. They are so freakishly important in mirror matchups, the weapons and armor upgrades, that is. Nope. Okay, so Lexor doesn't actually know that his opponent is going uh, High Templars as well, because he is actually getting a Templar Archives also. And two Stargates! Are we going to see Void Ray Colossus? Is that going to happen? That would be interesting. be very, very interesting. More pros being pulled off right there. In fact, yep, that's fine. More pros being pulled off and possibly just going straight to the main. Which is no problem, or he could possibly share the love, but you know, whatever, that's fine. Share the love as in take some to the natural expansion. Uh oh, it does look like Lex is going to be moving out fairly shortly. His army ready on the brink, a fourth base going down. 
for Lexor right now. Definitely ahead in how many bases he has. And something has to happen soon because both armies are as big as they can get. If I was Lexor, I'd want to push very, very shortly to take advantage of my upgrades. Um, I'd push just as those upgrade finish and, truth be told, probably take a decisive victory. Personally, uh, that's what I think would happen. But it's yet to be seen. Lots and lots of zealots moving out at the moment, just scouting around, seeing what Lexor is up to. And Lexor is actually in the process of double expanding. That is what he is up to. And our first engagement, or first real engagement of the game going down right here. And of course, Dynamite zealots, massively outnumbered, just get cleared up pretty quickly. Nice one, Lexor. <clears throat> Not bad. And here we go, we have Lexor just rallying to what I can only presume is going to be the Zalnagel Watchtower. Dynamite spreading his Colossus out preemptively as well. Good idea, so they're not as affected um, against splash damage. Very good idea indeed. And here we go, it does actually look like the engagement is going to be coming in the third base, which I don't think... I don't think the Dynamite was expecting, I think he was expecting Lexor to come up the ramp here, but he didn't, and this is just completely undefendable by Dynamite, or at least I think he is just not even going to try, because if he tried to engage down this ramp at the moment, he would surely lose his entire army, and thus the game, repositioning his army, you've got to be so careful in PvP about where your Colossus are, but here we go, with the superior upgrades, we do have Lexor heading up the ramp right now, and this is going to be our first big engagement of the game, Psystorm going down on the Stalkers as well, which will actually aid how much damage those Stalkers do take, and actually, it does look like Lexor is going to be left with no more um, support units. Those two cheeky immortals getting dropped right there, unfortunately, only to meet their maker. And it looks like Lexor's going to come out on top of this because he does have the superior weapons upgrades. But there are DTs! Oh, no! DTs from Dynamite clearing it all up. Entirely fair play, indeed. Meanwhile, Lexor is actually morphing Archons into the main base of Dynamite. But I don't think that Lexor has um, any sort of detection on the field right now. And the DTs will just clear that up very quickly indeed. And that is basically the story of PvP. Or mirror matchups in general. How even was that? That was ridiculous. And in fact, you know what? This game is heavily, heavily in Lexor's favour now. Um, he did lose his entire army. Yes, that's... You know, that's what happened. That's unfortunate for him. But he has three bases up on his opponent. I genuinely think that all Lexor needs to do is crank out an Observer, which he has done, there it is, and just defend himself against these DTs because they will ravage him. They will ravage him. Oh, no. Both uh, players have actually killed an even amount of workers as well. But Lex was slightly low on the workers as well. These DTs have actually got in and done some damage too. And it doesn't like Dynamite. It's just taking advantage of these golden opportunities where his opponent doesn't have anything and where his opponent doesn't have enough detection to deal. And he is just going to be clearing up some of these expansion that Lex will need so desperately to survive. These DTs are just literally tearing uh, various things to shreds. Focusing down that Nexus as well, taking out the fifth base from Lexor, but not taking down any probes or anything like that. Or no real amount of probes anyway. And through all this, Lexor... Lexor is just getting ready to go and clear up, essentially. That is what's happening at the moment. These probes want to be really careful, otherwise they're going to go right into the Colossus. Oh no, so many probes. If Dynamite shoots those probes, they'd all die, but nope. He's more interested in running away from the massed army of Lexor. Wow, and that's pretty close. That's pretty close so far. I thought it was in Lexor's favor, but then Dynamite comes in and clears up the fifth base. And from there, it's got a little bit closer. And no problem with that at all. Meanwhile, Dynamite has actually expanded twice. Um, so he has replaced his third that died and got his fourth as well. I'm not sure. I, I, it's still pretty close. It's still fairly close, but my gut instinct says that Lexor is ahead at the moment. Um, 
simply composition, research wise, expansion wise, all the signals are there of Lexor being ahead. If those probes had all died, uh, if the, the Colossus had shot the probes down, the game would be a different story right about now. But I don't think it is. Both players quite on top of their macro <clears throat> at the moment as well. And are we going to see another big engagement? Lexor does know it's on the way. That observer getting uh, fragged, as it were, as FPS players say. Here we go. Are we going to see another big engagement? I mean, I think this is going to be a pretty even one when it happens. But what's going to happen here is Dynamite just going to try and roll his opponent? Or is he just going to go have a poke, Zelnaga Watchtower, and pull pull the hell back? I mean, it does look like he's going to pull back. And this is the one Colossus that could. He He's not a sheep. He uh, doesn't conform. He's going to take the massively long way around to wherever he just got told to go. <laughs> because that is how he rolls. More DTs being morphed in as well by Dynamite at the moment, and who knows? Who knows what will end up of this DT? But knowing knowing Starcraft, it'll probably die. Another uh, another observer there getting taken down, courtesy of Dynamite. But what are we going to see? It is kind of about time Lexor started working on his shield upgrades. Seeing as Archons only have 10 HP, their psionic shield is the strongest of armors in the game, I believe. And, um, yeah, of course, it's very, very important to keep Archons alive. I do like what Lexor is doing here with his warp prism. Keeping it alive, using it as a mobile top-up platform quality. Really, really like it. That's good. Stuff, no problem with that at all. But thus far, Dynamite is actually still ahead. It's worth pointing that out at the moment. Um, I mean, Dynamite does have a he he's 17 probes ahead of his opponent in the probe count. So that's important, even though he's not making probes at the moment. Dynamite is beginning to work on his research. He's saturated quite nicely on all his bases, but then again, so is Lexor. This one could do a little bit more saturation. Dynamite laughing at something! Oops, sorry, wrong chat. Nice! Nice one, mate. <laughs> really? Who... Okay. Who opens their chat, goes, and types while playing StarCraft? Who does this? Who does this? I have no idea. And a mothership. A mothership is here. You know what? I looked for a mothership on the production tab a little while ago, and I didn't see one. I looked for a fleet beacon a little while ago, and I didn't see one. Anything to mix it up. I didn't see it. And it's just appeared. I've just looked up, and there's a mothership in front of me. So who knows where this game is going to go now. But in my eyes, it's probably going to swing heavily into Lexor's favour, because he is not... He is not talking to his friends. He is getting a mothership. He is going to murder his opponent's expansion down here in the fourth position. Meanwhile, Dynamite's army is coming out of the back and it might actually be able to snipe the mothership if Lexor is not careful. It does look like the mothership is going to be able to get into a decent enough position. Nice vortex there on the army. Actually just keeping Lex um, Dynamite's entire army into the vortex. And... This could be interesting if uh, Lexor puts some of his Archons in there. But nope, they're not air units, so they don't stack still. And here we do have a massive, massive engagement. Unfortunately for Lexor, his Zealots are behind the rest of his units. Psystorm's going down on all of these units here. That will just damage a lot of these guys, especially seeing as there are just so many Psystorms going down. But ultimately, I'm not really sure it matters too greatly. At the moment, because it just looked like Lexor didn't have enough. Also, his Zealots were stuck behind the Archons at the moment. I mean, and now Dynamite looks like he's probably going to push. Oh, and you can just imagine him, can't you? Sitting back, playing StarCraft with one hand, eating Pringles with the other, whilst typing to someone. Gah, and he wins. That's despicable. Well, he's not. Does he win? 
it's not looking good for our boy Lexa at the moment. It is not looking good at all. No, it is not. Just losing his uh his fifth again. But may I just quickly say, if this push from Dynamite fails, and when I say fails, he do he fails to kill the third or fourth, or maybe even second expansion of Lexor, he will be in big, 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 big trouble. Because he needs to get another mining base up. Like, now. If he doesn't get another mining base up now, he could very easily lose this game. Very easily lose this game, indeed. But at the moment, it does look like it is swinging heavily into his favour. He is taking down the third base, completely ignoring the fourth base. I'm sure he knows it's there. Does he know it's there? Yep, he knows it's there, so he is he's just deciding not to take it down. But if a push had come from Dynamite going into that fourth base at the moment, it could be goodbye. That's all she wrote for Lexor. And here we go. Are we going to have Lexor engaging? He's going to wave the rest of his army. It's probably the right thing to do. And here we go. Is this going to be the deciding battle of the game? Really nice surround by the Zealots right there. And these Zealots and Archons are just going to cause so much damage. Clear up the whole lot. Meanwhile, more Zealots come in from behind for Dynamite. But it's just not going to be enough to defend his army. And Lexor is going to walk away with this. And that's it. I think Lexor has wa walked away with the game. Because Dynamite has not re-expanded down there. Dynamite has one mining base. He does not have two. I mean, Lexor has actually been able to pull his guys back onto his natural. Um, because there were still some minerals remaining. Even though there was only a few. It genuinely looks like this is Lexor's game to win from here on out. And it's, it's not often that PvPs go this epic. It's never this often that PvPs go epic. So props to you guys. But at the moment, if I was to bet 20 quid on this, and by the way, for Americans, quid equals pound. Pound equals dollars or something. So if I was to bet 20 quid's worth of Her Majesty's currency on this, it would probably, probably have to be um, with Lexor to win. Because at the moment, he quite simply has the goods. Um... He has the goods expansion-wise. He is re-expanding again. Um, so is Dynamite, but only briefly. Lexor building a proxy pylon. Just to reinforce him quite nicely. I believe his warp prism has finally died. Even though that warp prism gave minutes of service. And here we go. It looks like this is probably going to be the end for Dynamite. And that is going to have to be all she wrote, surely. Uh, this measly army from Dynamite trying to come up and defend. But that's just going to have to be it. I'm almost sure of it. GG, man. There you go. I mean, PvP, yeah, it was a great game, actually. It was a great game. Phantasablismic. That's a word I made up once. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking, you never see a PvP last so long. And that's just so nice. It's really nice. It's quite rare. Macro's horrible here, well played. And that is a good game had by all, including myself. Thank you very much, Lexor, for sharing that with me. I definitely enjoy casting that. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Have a nice day. Enjoy playing StarCraft, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes! Goodbye!